In Revelation chapter 5 verse 8 says, When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. The incense represents the prayers of the saints, which are offered before God. This scene highlights the importance and value of prayer and intercession. The fact that the saints in heaven are also participating in this act of worship emphasizes that prayer is not just for our benefit here on earth, but it also has an impact in heaven and before God's throne. The elders, my beloved, we spoke about them, the 24 elders sitting around the throne of God in heaven. 24, we said, it is the Church of Christ in its both branches, Old and New Testament. 12 of the Old Testament and 12 of the New Testament. The Lord Jesus is the Good Shepherd to the Old Testament Church made out of the 12 tribes of Israel. Israel, who is Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Those 12 sons became the 12 tribes of Israel because Jacob's name was changed by Jesus Christ himself to Israel. So the 12 tribes of Israel, Old Testament church, and the New Testament is made out of the 12 apostles, 12 and 12, 24 elders, meaning I came singing the new song before the church who is in heaven, and I, the church who is on earth. The church in heaven, the triumphant church, the church on earth, the militant church. Here we are still battling the darkness of the world. We are still engaged in a battle, but this battle is based on love. We are fighting the good fight based on love in order by the grace of God to reach the triumphant church and be triumphant like they were before us. So the church is in heaven and on earth at the same time. And the church in heaven are the saints, the intercession of saints, where unfortunately some of us think that intercession of saints is non-existent, is not biblical, yet the Holy Bible teaches otherwise. The body of Christ is the church in heaven and earth at the same time. We are all members in the mystical body of Christ. There are members who have become triumphant, they fought the good fight on earth and they succeeded and now they are the triumphant church in heaven. St. Paul, St. Peter, St. Andrew, St. Philip and the Old Testament prophets and the patriarchs of the Old Testament, the faithful fathers of the Old Testament are all triumphant. We are still fighting the good battle, praying to the Lord to make us triumphant like them. So I came as the militant church singing to the triumphant church in heaven where we are connected all through the body of Christ. And I'm saying, pray for me, intercede for me before the throne of God who is Jesus Christ so that the Lord may have mercy on me through your intercessions. You've got a, a very special place in heaven because you were faithful servants you were loyal to the Lord Jesus while you were on earth. Now the Lord has glorified you and exalted you. He has given you a very high place in there. I am begging you to intercede for the militant church, for the Lord to have mercy and make us triumphant just like those who preceded us.